Oh, I broke. I broke the torque wrench. It wasn't adequate. And now, I don't know if it's the right torque, and I've got to take it all off again. Hi, I am Stuart, and I fly Sparkles Microlight. In this episode, we will continue the rebuilding of Sparkles Microlight. So upon examination, what's broken inside the torque wrench? Not that. But this is what came out. That. And that's broken off that. It's all that took the pressure. Spring. So I'm just finding out now too, that some torque wrenches only torque in the forward direction. Well, let's find out if this is one of those. So why is it important <clears throat> to know if your torque wrench torques in only the forward direction? Well, the nut that I'm talking down is a left hand thread, which means I need to torque it in the reverse direction. I never knew this before. So let's find out which way this one goes. Let's give it the old normal direction push. Pull, I'll pull it. Hear it click. That's the normal torque. It's reached its torque. Click. Now if we go the other way, it doesn't go. And the other way again. So this is a forward only torque wrench and I was using it in reverse and that's why it broke. Now the question is did I over torque the nut? I don't think so, I think this thing just broke. Well, time for another torque wrench or I'll have to borrow one from somewhere. Alright, today we're going to have another go at fitting the drive gear nut on the crankshaft. Um, I've actually been able to modify the torque wrench, kind of repair it but modify it so that now the torquing mechanism works in the opposite direction. It won't upset the calibration, all I've done is change the direction of the ratchet inside the head. So we're going to test it in the vise first and see if, let's see what 147 foot pound feels like in the vise before I actually tighten up a nut on the crankshaft. can't do it. Honestly can't do it. Oh gee. Let's pull it back a bit. I've also got a lever today. Oh yeah that'll work. Let's see if the drive mechanism, oh, let's put it back up to where it should be. That's a lot. This time we're gonna put this in there. And see if the actual drive will take it. Here we go. I'm not keen, I'm gonna do it the other way. Mm. I don't wanna break this thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have a winner. Just... Check that on. 
No, I didn't lock that. Oh no, really? <laughs> If you feel the need, and please don't feel obliged, I have created a range of hashtag I saved sparkles microlite merchandise for you to purchase and support the sparkles rebuild. It's only available until the time of the first flight, hopefully around the end of June 2022. Or maybe you'd rather show your direct financial support. Again, don't feel obliged. It's for those of you that feel the need. I have set up a Patreon donation page. The bonus being that the top five donators, no pressure, but at the time of Sparkle's first flight, those top five donators will receive a free autographed hashtag I saved Sparkle's Microlite t-shirt. You can donate or shop at the links provided. Centralised, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Job done. Yay. Well, it wasn't so hard after all, was it? <laughs> that job's done. Double check our work. The teeth of the washer are facing the nut. The nut's facing the way it was. The gear was put on the way it was. Successfully loctited and cleaned. Uh, I can now take this out. When you put these locking bolts in too for the crankshaft, don't leave them in too, uh, too long. If there's any temperature changes on the engine and you've got this relatively tight, um, if there's any expansion, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't want to risk a, a cracked crankcase, for example. The next thing we'll do is we'll put the gearbox on, but we won't do that today. Um, I've had enough dramas for the moment, so um, we'll move along from here. Right, the next job is now to do the dial run out on the crankshaft, and we'll set the dial indicator up and um, we'll make sure that the washer and everything is still in the right place and hasn't caused a distortion on the crankshaft. 